The Chevy Silverado convinced me to get a Tundra. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive Tundra. That's right. Today, the Chevy Silverado convinced me to get a Toyota Tundra for the channel. You know, I have decided that I am a Tundra guy. I am a Tundra loyalist. So this is what I've done. You know, I went today and I drove a Chevy Colorado because I mentioned that I was gonna get something to tide me over until I can put my hands on the new redesigned Toyota Tundra. So I went to a local Chevy dealer and I found a Chevy Silverado RST with the 5.8, I think it was, or at least the, the V8 engine. Um, and I took it for a ride. gotta say I was uh, first I was sticker shocked the sticker on this thing was fifty eight thousand two hundred ninety five dollars but that's not the bad part the bad part was they're adding up to ten thousand dollars as a premium because of the current market you can't find them anywhere the Silverados they only had I think two or three on the lot while I was there, at least in the category that I wanted. So they're adding a premium that would move that truck up to $68,295 plus taxes and fees. Now that's just the beginning, right? So I decided to take it for a test drive anyway. Maybe it would blow me away and I'd be willing to drop the extra dough because I just had to have a Silverado. So I did drive the RST trim line. It did have the V8 option. And here are my impressions. It felt powerful enough. I mean, it has the V8 engine. It should have been powerful and it was, it felt fine. It sat pretty high up. Now I did ask, did it have any kind of a lift like a factory lift or anything? Uh, the sales guy told me no. And by the way, thanks to, to him, he was awesome. Great guy, great to deal with. If I was gonna buy a Silverado, it would be from him. But anyway, uh, it did sit pretty high up. It was not lifted, but I like that. That was cool. Uh, it was rear wheel drive. In other words, not a four by four. It was a two wheel drive only. This next thing, the shifter is on the column. It took me back to like 1980. You know, I've never liked that, but I thought I might be able to overlook it. You know, I can't. I just didn't like that. Having to reach up there and, and put it, I just didn't like that. I like the shifter being somewhere in the center column area. That's where it should be, in my opinion. That signifies a more modern truck. Uh, it had a long hood feel to it. I'm spoiled by the Tundra. I have said in many of my previous Tundra videos that the truck always felt smaller than it was. And it's because of the way you sit in it and look over the hood. Kind of has a shorter feeling hood or something, I don't know, but it never felt like a big truck. This Chevy Silverado felt like a big truck. It felt very, very large to me. You know, overall, I was just underwhelmed. There was nothing special about it. I kept thinking about the Tundra. So no matter what, I guess I have come to the conclusion that I am a Tundra guy. I am one of the Tundra brethren. The next full-size truck on this channel will be a full-size Tundra. I almost felt like I was cheating on the Tundra driving that Silverado. How weird is that? I don't know. So we will be getting a 2021 Toyota Tundra as an intermediate truck until I can put my hands on the 2022, which again, I'm kind of thinking is gonna be next year, somewhere in the March to June timeframe. I think it'll be until then that I'll be able to actually put my hands on one, who knows? But that is the plan. There will be a 2022, the redesigned Tundra coming to this channel but I gotta say, I am Tundra spoiled, and today, 
the Chevy Silverado convinced me to buy a Toyota Tundra. Anyway, leave a comment. If you've uh, done something like this before, maybe thought about getting a different brand or something, went out, drove the truck, and while you were driving it around, didn't feel right, felt kind of funny, and you ended up coming back to the Toyota Tundra, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, about my experiences with the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay loyal out there. Bye.